So Kevin received the Eco Hero Award in 2009. Um, since he was six years old, he's been very active in uh, areas of wildlife, nature, uh, clean energy, stabilizing the climate. Recently, this past summer, he visited the Arctic on a scholarship. So he's here today to tell us a little bit about his experiences there. How's everyone doing today? Yeah. Doing great? First off, let's give a round of applause to this year's Echo Hero Awards, please. <laughs> you know, I was um, awarded very, you know, I was honored in 2009, so I'm, I'm you know, a alumni, but uh, here to share a story about uh, my trip this summer, along with kind of what I've been doing recently. So I'm going to start off. Um, so this summer, I got a very humbling experience. Uh, also, I know Burrow went to the Arctic in Russia, but um, I went up to the Arctic um, in the Canadian and Greenland. Um, so that was uh, in part of an organization called Students on Ice. And uh, you know, I have to say, starting from here in Action for Nature, I built you know so many you know interesting experiences along the way. Um, so you know, starting off here at Artbus, this was uh, a long time ago, 2009. This is where I really initially got my start for Action for Nature, um, and definitely, you know, I was awarded and you know honored, and you know, I was really thankful, and uh, that's the most important part. Yes, and uh, I'm the smallest one there. <laughs> of course. Yeah, um, and you know, recently, you know, and I've been able to locally. So I'm actually in San Mateo, so just about a 15 minute drive away. I would travel up to Fremont, um, and there I would do Habitat Heroes. Um, this is another program that I've, you know, worked with uh, with the Don Edwards U.S. Fish and Wildlife Refuge, teaching young kids about you know wildlife all around. I've, uh, from there, I also got an opportunity to go to Taiwan um, and uh, talk to some of the students in various middle schools and high schools, um, and uh, you know I, I talked about my you know advocacy here locally, Birds Over the Bay. Um, I did not get a chance to put in that photo, but I also got a chance to you know, present my art in that perspective. So there you can see in Taiwan, I lectured um, about Bay Area. You know, I mean, the Bay Area is such a wonderful place, and Chris, you definitely mentioned a lot of it, so uh, we definitely know. We'll talk to Chris if you want to know about wildlife, all right? <laughs> Um, I also got, you know, throughout my experiences, I got an opportunity here locally in San Francisco at the Golden Gate Raptor Observatory to meet Alan Fish, um, a prestigious, um, you know, hawk watcher there. I learned under him as a great mentor. And, you know, if you ask me about hawks, I can look outside and see, oh, that's a TV. Not a t television, but a turkey vulture. <laughs> <laughs> I also, uh, I'm everywhere across the Bay Area. I also was in uh, Palo Alto Baylands, and there I got a chance to meet Eric McKee, a good friend of mine, who there um, I helped with some of the uh, displays and organizations in the local Bay Palo Alto Baylands, which is quite unique. Uh, it's right next to technology, you know, IBM, um, Apple, Microsoft, but right next to it there's a Bayland which nobody goes to, and there I've been uh, trying my best to advocate for having people, high school students, middle school students, to come out and enjoy nature. Um, this was uh, 2010, and uh, thank you very much, bro, for allowing me to come back one more time. But there, I got a chance to meet Brent Plater, who I've uh, gotten a great chance to, you know, talk to and learn a lot about environmental law, and uh, continue that. So now I'm going to take you on my Arctic journey very quickly. Uh, this is the Ocean Endeavor. Uh, this summer, I got a chance to be on board for two weeks and travel all across the Arctic, straight across the uh, Arctic Ocean. <coughs> I was on Zodiacs, which was quite amazing. It was a bumpy ride, but think of it as this. You're sitting on this balloon and just riding across, and it was exciting. Um, we saw glaciers. Uh, we, uh, and I, I just want everyone to take an opportunity to take a different perspective. You're going to be there. I got a chance to see, as I would say, Disneyland sort of perspective of uh, land it was amazing I you know the you know I, I have to be honest many of the students there along with me started crying because you know the, the Arctic is not you know just somebody it's a it's a sacred place um, saw all sorts of landscapes and uh, there I also got a chance to travel to uh, one of the northern um, towns this one specifically called Umanok and that's the Hart Mountain also, Ilulusat. 
and I also got to meet some of their cultural aspects. You know, I talked to them personally one on one and learning one thing that, you know, the Northern Arctic um, Inuit cultural Aboriginal people, they have a strong sense of environmental justice up there because of their seeing it firsthand. You know, they're seeing the icebergs, glaciers falling down to pieces. Uh, learning their culture, they have chants and stories about how they used to be able to go out into the uh, icebergs and just touch it and feel it, but nowadays it's too dangerous because of the constant collapse. Uh, they also, we also had some fun learning about their Aboriginal culture, which is slowly, you know, less and less people due to the fact that development in the urban urbanization Canada, many of them are moving away from the Inuit Aboriginal towns. Uh, I got a chance to just stay on the ship, the Ocean Endeavour, um, and you know, see amazing, you know, icebergs, and definitely take the view in, guys. <laughs> I also got to touch ice cold water, which was very exciting, and uh, I'll have a story coming up in a little bit, so hold on to that. You, you can keep rolling, yeah. And, uh, you know, this whole entire trip was just amazing. You know, I, I can say that the icebergs melting, sinking, you know, we all can be inside ice. Um, we, we can all stand in I, um, mud and water, and we can all feel it, but most importantly, we all uh, know that the Arctic is very important because of its sacred, and it's not a place where everyone has touched yet. And as we know, polar bears are disappearing, and so on the very corner you guys can see, myself, I was not able to get close up. So there's a fun story. If you get close to a polar bear, you need it to at least, it's kind of like here for bobcats, but you need to jump on, have someone jump on top of your shoulders and run, or scare him away, because of the you know, predatorial things. Um, you can hold on a second. Um, this is one of my, also my great friends, Jeff Green. Um, I got a, a wonderful um, Arctic explorer. He's been to the Arctic, I don't know how many times, I can't even count. Um, and uh, you know, I share my story here from the local Bay Area to there, everywhere, it's uh, really wonderful. And I just want to end with one thing. You know, we're all a big family there, so this is everyone that traveled. So you're probably wondering why I showed you all these photos about my life, maybe it's my album or something. But you know, I really want to show that we're all a big family here together. Action for Nature has brought all these students from all over to be together. And you know, I, I, also, I often think of this, a lot of the mentors that I have on there are constellations in the sky. We look, look towards them as role models and stars, but they're actually just like us. We have become role models. We need to follow them. We need to explore, follow the North Star. And um, you know, I, I have to final, just uh, say one final thing. Uh, similar to yours, Chris, uh, five fingers. But I did it differently. Uh, we have people, ocean, land, air, and wildlife. And those five things together are very important. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to do one last thing. And yeah, I used to play basketball for a little bit for my uh, high school team. And I want everyone to put your hand up, put your hand in front. And OK, so we're going to count. Well, I'm going to count one, two, three. And on three, we're going to say action for nature, OK? On three, one, two, three, action for nature. Thank you.